Ever since Adam Johnson was convicted, there's been pressure on Sunderland Football Club to explain why it continued to allow him to play after his arrest and while he was awaiting trial. And today, the club's chief executive, Margaret Byrne, resigned after it was claimed in court that she had seen transcripts of police interviews last May in which Johnson admitted kissing his 15-year-old victim. In a statement, she said... Contrary to what has been suggested, I did not understand that Mr Johnson intended to change his plea at trial or at all. I was astounded when he did plead guilty. I accept that Mr Johnson should not have been permitted to play again, irrespective of what he was going to plead. It was a serious error of judgment and I accept full responsibility for this. I think there was no option, but she had to had to resign. Has happened. Um, Sunderland haven't played at home since the Johnson court case. They won't play at home until until next month. And of course, if she was still in that position, there was the potential of protests of of reaction from the crowd. So I think it was the only option. On the second of March last year, Adam Johnson was arrested. Police met the club's chief executive Margaret Byrne that day to explain the allegations, and the club suspended him. Johnson was reinstated by Sunderland on March the 18th and was charged by police on April the 23rd. He met club officials on May the 4th and claims at that point he, quote, told them everything. He was sacked on February the 11th this year, the day after his guilty plea on two of the charges. Adam Johnson now faces a prison sentence of at least five years. Sunderland always maintained they believed he would plead not guilty on all counts and would have sacked him earlier if they'd known. But today they admitted the decision to allow him to continue playing was wrong. Leila Hayes, 5 News.